Okay, I'm recording now. So we're looking at aria of, of J.S. Bach arranged ward single. And uh, we're doing a, a different part allocation to that for Tim score. And this is the only homework for this week, is to ask you to have a look at your part once I've allocated it and do it with the recording and sing along and get back to me next week with whether there are any difficulties. Um, so the, the top line will be sung by sopranos. The second line, which is marked tenor, will be sung by altos. But you need to read it down the octave. So it's written like that, but you've got to sing that. Um, the third line, which is marked bass, would be sung by Rod and Gary. And then we go down to the line that is, and we'll call you B1. Then we go down to the bass guitar, and that's sung by B2, which is David and Clyde. <coughs> so David and Clyde, you're the, you're the double bass. And you'll be doing dum dum. Altos, this entails you reading the entire score down an octave. If that's too difficult, I'll make a new score for you. Um, it also means that it goes fairly low. Um, it certainly goes down to an A. And later on, it does, goes down to an E. Um, if there are altos who are not happy with that, it's only one, two, we might get you to sing with the softs. But there's a, a patch near the end where it's very low. On the very last page, if we look at bars 30 to 32, it's quite low. <laughs> I think that's too low for alto, so we might have to do a little swap or any with Gary there, um, or get Gary to sing with you, or something like that. <coughs> um, however, I'm a soprano and I just sang those notes. So I sang, I sang C sharp by singing it really lightly. Not singing it as a classical singer. If I do that, I can't do it. But if I just go, I can do it if I use my speaking voice and I don't push it. So I'm going to ask you to try it between now and next week using the YouTube recording <coughs> and come back to me. And if it doesn't work, we'll rethink it. Do you want us to mm or mm or? Uh, we'll experiment, whatever works. But I think humming or NG is going to work better down there than trying to sing. Yeah. Mm. Um, but seriously, when I'm singing it, I'm almost not singing it. It's a bit hard to demonstrate when we're not in the room together. But I'm not going, do, 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 you know, opera singer. Just, just wear a mask. It's crooning. Crooning. In fact, crooning is the opera word. So we'll try it. If it doesn't work, um, I'll rethink it and do it a different way. Um, not quite sure what that will be, but um, if you could write crooning on the top of your score and YouTube practice this one. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, just play it because it is a piano part. And if you just have a go at it for now. Don't worry too much about what you get. Um, and pick a syllable that you're comfortable with. It could be do, la, u, mm, mm, whatever suits you. Any questions before we start? You all know which line you're following? Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, are we all muted? Yes, we're all muted. So, bass is your part. I need the pedal for this. Pedal's not working, okay? Soprano, it's quite so low for sopranos as well. And the only way to do this is as a crooner.
it's quite low. Mm. Yeah. Um, if it turns out to be, I think sopranos can do it. Okay. Mm. I don't think sopranos go below an A. Mm. If you're singing, yeah. singing classical, it won't work. But if you're just crooning. Mm. I think it'll work. I've heard um, lots of recordings on YouTube and they all sing ab about four or five notes higher than this. Not the, not the, the one, the original, single. because there is one where they sing this pitch. Okay, I've been still looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> the bass is sing higher than the tenors do at bar 30. Beg your pardon? At bar 30, if you read it, and the line goes lower than the bases do. Yes, and we might be able to do a little switch <laughs> because the tenor line is actually altos. So that's where I'm thinking we might we might try some sort of a switch. But I wanted you to try it first. It was too low. Um, it was. The other was option is low. that if there are enough altos who can sing those notes, then some of you can sing with the drops. Mm. Um, yeah. I have um, a low E, but I do not have a low C sharp. <laughs> I have a low E, but I do not have a low C sharp. It was just missing Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So another option is that I transpose it. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe I need to do. I make a new score and take it up. How many altos can do it? C sharp. And and the thing is, the quality of the sound isn't going to be so good, and that might go for the. Support. Yeah. Oh. So let's see if I take it up to F, F major. It's still low, but it's not as low. I will experiment because it might sound rather nice in F major. Okay. I don't think, I think D is too high. That might be too high. Yeah. We could do some part switching. Do some what? The the bass line there, the, the line mark B. We could just take that line instead. We could what? We could just sing that line instead. Yeah, possibly. But I'm I'm thinking by your reactions, I'm thinking I might take make a new score and take it up. Ah, okay. Yeah, like it was fine until bar thirty. Yeah, it was fine until bar 30. How about Terry? Was it fine until bar 30? Unmute. No, you're not mute. You're muted. Margot, how about you unmute everyone? I can't do that. I can ask to unmute, but I can't actually do it. I know, it's annoying. That's annoying. Yeah. I'm going to stop recording anyway. <laughs> 